Hi, I'm DG Dino from Jinxter Games and this tutorial will show you a way that you can make a high score table using arrays. Um, first I will show you what it does. So let's play this. And I have my game here, click me, and when I click I have a score. It's just for a uh, for to have some score so that's not really important and every time I click I have a score and it will be placed into the high score list and uh, there is already a preset top 10 list and in the more advanced one I start with an empty list and then it fills up until 10 and then it stays on top 10 list. Okay, so let's first start with the simpler one. And first of all, I have two arrays um, my name array and my score array. And with the preset, I have set this up with uh, 10 names. It uh, doesn't matter what names is there. And then I have uh, 10 scores. Um, here it is important that uh, you go from high to low. So element zero must be highest and then go down until the lowest until element nine. Um, I still have some other uh, variables but I will show you in, inside the actions. Okay. So let's get started. So first thing I will do is display the score. And I'm just getting the array from index zero and uh, I'm getting the, the name and I'm getting the score. Then uh, also here index zero. Then I'm converting my float from the score into a string. And then I place this into uh, the score text position one and name text position one. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and that's here and here. And when I done that, I'm getting the array from index one. <coughs> and then I'm doing everything again. So I'm placing the text into score two and name two and so on so on so on until all, all ten are are filled up. Um, you can also do this with a loop or something. Um, that's maybe more easy. I, I don't know why, but uh, I did it like this this time because I thought it's only like ten thingies, so it's quickly copy paste stuff. So it just depends on how you want to do this. Okay, next I have a set bool value and I'm setting the value to true from this reset value, uh, re uh, reset variable. And the reason is that uh, I want to reset this array get next to start back on to zero to be sure. Because if I don't have that, so when I made something and it score on four on five position, and then I'm gonna do this again, there might be a possibility that uh, I start from the wrong position. So that's why you use this reset flag. Also, this action is a custom action you can get on the uh, ecosystem. I think I even made this one. Um, and I will show you the reason why, because the array list get next from the standard does not have, uh, have a reset flag. And I had this issue when I made this. So that's why I made the reset flag and also placed this on the ecosystem. Okay, um, so let's get back to here. So that's why I have this reset. Then I have here simple uh, 
get time info and convert float to string and set this string for the time. So that's for my score. That's just uh, so I can show you some high scores. Also, this part is just to make some names. So I'm making uh, this player number. I'm going to add every time one. So it's going to be player one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go on. And that's why I just have this build string with player and the number string and so on. So my name changes every time. Also just for the purpose of this tutorial. And then on the next part, I have an array get and I'm getting from position nine. So I'm sure position nine is the last high score. Uh, so that's going to be the lowest score. Uh, and so that part I'm going to compare with uh, my current score and if it's lower it's going to be no high score but if it's equal or greater then you have a new high score then when I have uh, when I don't have a new high score, I just go back here to my timer for a new score. When I have a high score, I'm going to do this array get next. And so I start from zero. So the first thing I'm going to get is five and then four and a half, four, three and a half and go down. So after I got this um, array, I'm going to do this float compare. So I'm going to check this score. I saved um, the result in the score HS. So I'm checking my current score with my score from the high score. And if it's uh, less than uh, that, that score. So if, it, uh, if I would have like three, so the first one is going to be five. So then it's going to go check next. And then it goes to four and a half and four, three and a half. And my score is like 3.2 or something. So on element four, he's going to say, oh, it's now it's uh, higher. So uh, or equal. So and then I can set this position for my new high score. Then I need to do this uh, uh, int add to the current index. So actually here I have my uh, index. I'm always getting this. So when I'm looping back, I'm on to, let's say, what was it? Element four. So I am on index four. And I need to uh, place uh, on index five for the iterate. And that's why I'm adding this. And later I'm going to deduct this to get the right position. Uh, if I don't do this and I do the swap score, uh, it will uh, look for um, for num number 10. Uh, let me see here. So uh, number 11, I mean. And there is no 11. And then I'm having issues. And that's the reason I have this in that. OK. Now uh, I'm going to iterate. This is also a custom action. This is from Gene, I believe. And um, this is just uh, for looping. So it's going to, uh, instead of from 0 to 9, I go here from 9 to 0. So when the highest is uh, in top and this one is lower, it will count down in, instead of going up. So, and the increment is by one. So if I look back to this, it's going to be eight. Going to, and then again, going to be seven, six, five, four. Okay. So, and once I reach uh, the end index, so that's going to be that current index plus one. That's uh, uh, on number five, I believe, uh, from the sample that I used. And um, then it's done. And uh, before that, it's going to always run to this. And what I'm doing is I'm swapping from 
Um, first, I'm swapping from uh, the index and uh, let me see. Uh, index to swap from a I set a minus one. Ah, uh, wait. Uh, so I have first an in compare. Yeah. And it's going to compare if it's zero. If it equals uh, to zero or less than zero, then it's also finished. So it's turn it sends back. Uh, that's also a fail safe. Um, so if it run to zero and somehow the iterate didn't count it or whatever, it's going to go back. And then I have my int operator here. And what I'm doing is so the index to swap from. So that is my current index here. Um, let me see index to swap from. And I'm going to do a minus one to that. And actually, you can also, instead of that, you can just do subtract subtract by one. That will work also. I'm just used as uh, int add minus one, but uh, both works fine. And uh, the result is going to be index to swap two. And then I have this array swap it, uh, swap items, and I think this is also a. Uh, let me see, array swap items. Yeah, that's also a custom action. So you can also get this from the uh, ecosystem. And um, what I'm doing is, so I have my score array, and then I'm have my index to swap from. So let's say that's five or nine, start with nine. And then I'm in, um, swapping this to index eight. And also uh, the name I'm going to swap and then it turns back and then it's going to do the seven to six, uh, six to five, five to four until everything has swapped. Uh, swapped until that I reach that score, the high score position. And when that's done, I have my int add here and I'm uh, removing uh, one from that current index that I placed, I add on this side. And then I can set my new score. And so I have my score array here and current index and the value from the score and also my name. Also here in the name array, current index and my name. And that's it. Um, you can find the sample files uh, on my website for now. And um, let me see, I think um, I'm gonna show the other uh, version in another part. So this is um, about it. Uh, I hope this helped you out. And feel free to donate or become a patron on, on the on our Patreon Patreon page. Uh, you can find the link on our website. And that will be helpful so I can make more tutorials. And if I have enough Patreons or Patrons, then I can do this full time. Um, for questions, you can ask on the forum or on the Playmaker Discord channel. And well, thank you for watching. Bye bye.